The Democratic chair for Onondaga County telling News Channel 9 the state assembly could receive articles of impeachment against Governor Andrew Cuomo in the next seven to ten days. And she says most Democratic assembly members feel as she does that the governor is no longer fit for office. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan is tracking the developments for us in Albany. Andrew, what happened today? Well, we haven't heard from Governor Cuomo about the status of his job. So now members of the assembly, many back in their hometowns, including here in central New York, they have to sit through, sift through all this information and decide if they'll vote to impeach him. That includes Assemblywoman Pamela Hunter, who is the chair of the Onondaga County Democratic Committee and a longtime loyalist to the governor. She says the Attorney General's report was so upsetting to her, she had to put it down after getting only through six pages or so. She says the case is closed, but the process isn't as fast as people would like. Assembly Democrats met yesterday, but the next big step is for the Judiciary Committee to meet, which is scheduled for Monday in Albany. We're talking about thousands of pages of documents that need to be presented to the Assembly Judiciary Committee from the Attorney General. Um, and I know people want quick, they want it now. If the Assembly passes articles of impeachment, a jury of the State Senate and the seven members of New York's Court of Appeals will act as the jurors. Jeff. Okay, Andrew, we continue to follow developments. We have lawmaker reaction, details on the Attorney General's report, the actual report itself, latest coming out of Albany. It's all at localsyr.com. All you have to do is click on Cuomo Under Fire tab.